I turn it on the same, so it's on the same side, but like, you know, the other diagonal, and then I flip it and then do the same thing. So I, it's a total of four rotations. Good morning, good morning everyone. It is a nice Sunday morning. Unfortunately this morning actually, it I woke up and it was, uh, it was raining. So um, it is going to be nicer later on today, um, around the 70s. Excited to go out uh, in that temperature. And yeah, we're gonna do our endurance ride today. Yesterday, um, we celebrated Jason's birthdays and we had a little cookout grill here, just the two of us, um, and uh, had a glass of wine and plenty of carrot cake uh, for the ride today. So um, hopefully that would fuel us up for uh, today's ride. We actually didn't get to go for a ride last week. As some of you know, you probably wondered like what happened to the outdoor ride? And um, we didn't get to go last week because it was an active recovery week and the endurance ride was going to be two hours uh, and which wouldn't have been a problem if it did not rain. So uh, here in Connecticut, usually April, around April and May is when the it's when it starts to rain more and uh, you know that saying April showers bring May flowers well it's true here in Connecticut um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up now and uh, get my stuff together on the bike and I'll see you guys on the road doing a first pit stop uh, just to use the outdoor uh, nature restroom so to speak uh, here at Squance Pond Park uh, I think it's about 12 miles into the ride um, Joy was saying earlier that she feels really fresh um, which is I feel pretty fresh too but uh, we had a we did have a tough training week this week so um, although we did have a, a recovery week last week, you know, you would think that the, the tough training week during the week would have us a little bit worn out, but so far that hasn't been the case. So we both still have good energy and we're ready to get the rest of our ride on. Oh, and it's a gorgeous day out, by the way. Um, I think it's going to hit 70 degrees or low 70s today. It did rain this morning and um, had me a little bit worried when I saw that, but the rain stopped before we left, so it's all good now. Catch you later. are not doing cozier hill today figured uh, we want to or I wanted to give my legs a rest from doing 30% grade hills so we're actually gonna go around it 
there's still a climb, but it's not as steep as Cozier Hill. FTP test is to see if you could PR segments on Strava that you've already ridden through. So that's what we're going to try to do today. We're going to try to PR Anderson Road and Bulls Bridge Road. As I was saying to Jason, I feel super fresh today. Legs feel good. Heart rate's good, so we'll see how we do. you guys sorry uh, quiet road here in the middle of Dutchess County in New York look at those mountains we won't be able to climb those at least I don't know a road that will take us up there How'd you do on the uh, Anderson Road? Oh, I did fine. I was just trying to keep up with Joy with the view. Joy was the pace setter. She did good on it. Uh, what, what was your time? 4.36. Yeah, no, I was around the same, I think. I was just trying to stay right behind you. Yeah, yeah I think I um, might have PR'd it by 55 seconds. So I'd have to go back to Strava to check out to see how um, much I actually PR'd it um, but yeah no I, I I can't get over at how good I feel right now my legs are feeling strong and earlier this week we actually did a crazy I thought was crazy a very difficult uh, workout um, it was called the threshold efforts and it was 
six minutes at zone four with the recovery and then up to seven minutes at zone four and then six and then down to five um, with only two minute recoveries in between and it was oh my god that was so hard and I know Jason he, he said that when he heard me as he was coming up um, he heard me breathing pretty heavily and I was going for it and I think because of that workout I'm not sure if it's all in my head but I feel really strong there's bugs everywhere I feel really strong right now yeah that that was definitely the toughest workout that we've done so far on this training plan um, the uh, the other two this week weren't too bad Wanted to, I wanted to, to do like the best I could for that distance. Like, so we PR'd the Bulls Bridge climb. Um, I went a little harder this time. Last time, uh, I, I told you guys that it was, or I said that it was a, a kind of a noodle fest. Uh, so it was natural that if I go hard, it was going to be a PR. Uh, but Jason did really well on it. Um, yeah, I ended up. I ended up getting six minutes, 11 seconds. I don't remember exactly what I got last time. I think it was like seven and a half minutes or something. Um, pretty much my goal is just to kind of go zone five, you know, VO2 max power the whole way, or at least average that, which I think I did. I'll see what it looks like on Strava later, but that felt really good. Got my heart rate up. And now I'm probably gonna noodle the rest of the way home. Yeah, we're not gonna PR. I'm not going to attempt a PR on Candlewood climb, but yeah, so we're in South Kent school now with lots of mayflies. So we're in New Milford now and uh, just having stopping again to have something to eat. Uh, we're in River Road, so dirt road behind behind me. This is River Road, kind of road through it. Uh, and you guys saw that from a couple of weeks ago, how beautiful this road is. The road goes along the Housatonic River. Um, so I'm going to have a muscle up bar, maybe a little bit of that. We have a few more climbing to do. We have one uh, Candlewood, the Candlewood Lake Road climb, 
uh, which I'm not attempting a PR on that one. And then another climb after that, a um, couple of miles after that. guys we are back now um, Jason's actually still out there he really wanted to do four and a half hours because that's what our training plan called for and he didn't want to stop so he just is going around the neighborhood I we did I did one round and I said that was it for me so it was a uh, four hours and 21 minutes um, with a total of 58 miles and 4,383 feet of gain. Of course, Jason's is probably going to be more since he's still out there. Um, so I talked a little bit about PRs and how you can gauge your fitness that way. Speaking of PRs and that note, I actually, and I'm actually uh, very surprised at the results that I got. Um, I PR'd a good number of segments today. I, I've just been feeling really good. Um, let me just go through. So Anderson Road was the climb, one of the climbs I said I wanted to PR. And I did PR that and I'm also in the top three. I am actually 15 seconds away from the QOM. So maybe next time I'm going to try to take another stab at it and try to get the QOM. Um, I got as my time four minutes and 35 seconds and the QOM was four minutes and 20 seconds. So. I am actually really pumped just to see that those results uh, for Candlewood Lake Road. Okay, so I said at the very beginning that I wasn't going to do a PR on Candlewood Lake Road. Um, I PR'd it today. Last time I PR'd it by over a minute and I thought that was a really hard effort. I don't know if I could actually PR that again. This time around, I got seven minutes and 22 seconds two weeks ago. This Today, I got six minutes and 55 seconds. So for that climb, the QOM is four minutes and 56 seconds. Um, I It's two minutes faster than what I got today. So it's going to be really hard to get the QOM on that one. And then another PR attempt was the bulls bridge climb which i figured like i said before uh, i figured i was going to qo uh, i'm going to pr that i kind of noodled last time so it was eight minutes and 26 seconds last time and this time around seven minutes and three seconds um i actually i'm like i don't know 14th place on that one so um the qom is five minutes and 20 seconds so i don't know that's a pretty fast woman there so um yeah a really great result today and let's talk to Jason to see what he has to say. How'd you do? Uh, well I'm pretty wiped out now. When uh, 
when when Joy stopped, I asked. She said it was four hours and twenty minutes at that point, and I was like, oh, I gotta get to four and a half. So I just did a couple of laps around, easy laps around the neighborhood. Um, so I ended up around four and a half, and uh, got to sixty miles. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. So. I only got that was, that was another reason why I kept going because I was like, I'm so close to 60 miles <laughs> and I just do it. Oh, nice. So I, I'm, I'm done now though. <laughs> I'm wiped out now, but uh, that was a great, great ride. Uh, great day. Uh, Woody. Really warm today. We started overheating, I think at the end, um, but our performance was pretty good. I think I attribute part of that to, you know, the warm weather. Um, you know, being loose and everything. And so, the ribeye. Yeah, and the dinner that we had last night, you know, was pretty good too. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's it for today. That's it for this week. Thank you again for tuning in, and uh, we will see you again next week. Bye bye.